Thank you, Will. Good to see you. <laughs> well, first of all, congratulations to you and Annie, welcome. Thank you. It's a delight to have you both here. Uh, Willie, it's been quite a year for you so far. It's been pretty busy, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, as Eric Church said, you just celebrated your 90th birthday and there was a big old bash at the Hollywood Bowl in your honor. You're going to be inducted to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame soon. Tonight, you got the Liberty and Justice for All Award. You've been regaled by song by Eric Church. You're about to get a musical tributes from L. King and Lyle Lovett and Sam Hunt. Uh, so how does it feel to be 90 years old? I never thought I'd make it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was lucky to get to 21, I thought, you know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, time goes by and here we are. Thank you. <laughs> well, uh, tonight the, the net proceeds from this event go toward the Willie Nelson Endowment for Uplifting Rural Communities. That's great. And Farmers. As Larry Temple said, you can still contribute. Uh, but as Larry mentioned, you are a product of small town Texas. You are a, a rural American. You grew up in a rural environment. How did that shape the way you look at the world? I grew up in a little town, Abbott, Texas, up in Hill County up here. And uh, uh, the population never changed. Every time a baby was born, a man left town. <laughs> <laughs> did did growing up in, in a, a small town leave a mark leave its mark on you how did it shape you who you are oh i think it it helped a lot uh being a part of that small town and knowing everybody in town and playing all the sports there football baseball basketball you know and in a town that small, if you come out for the team, you're going to make it. So, <laughs> so uh, I had a lot of fun playing sports up there at Abbott and had a lot of friends up there. Still do. I enjoy going up there, just driving up and down the street. So the, uh, you, you have talked about your upbringing, and you said about your grandparents who raised you right. that they gave you the greatest gifts they could ever give you, love and music. Right. But you also said that love and music were one and the same in your household. What do you mean by that? Well, music and love go together pretty good because people who like music love music, you know. And uh, whether it's Beethoven or Hank Williams or Bob Wills, whatever, if you like it, it's great. And it brings people together. And we can all sit around and talk about our favorite whatever and uh, drink a beer and, uh, for Hank Williams and whatever. But we were all, people drive from hundreds of miles to come see somebody sing, where they can join in, clap their hands and sing along, whether it's gospel, country, jazz, whatever. Music brings people together. It's, it's, uh, it's a great unifier. Did you imagine making a living out of being a musician? <laughs> Well, it, I never did, really. <laughs> My expenses keep going up and up and up. <laughs> no, I was really fortunate to uh, you know, be able to do what I did. And uh, I enjoy it. I still enjoy it. I enjoy going and singing a song for somebody. Well, one of the many things you have done for those in rural America is be one of the co-founders of Farm Aid, which right. you established with... John Mellencamp and Neil Young right. in 1985. Right. And not only have you raised over $70 million for the cause, but you've also raised awareness, as Larry Temple mentioned earlier this evening, about the plight of the farmer. Is the farmer better off today than when you launched Farm Aid almost 40 years ago? I think so. Hmm. Uh, I, I think talking to farmers around the country and, you know, Farm Aid had maybe a lot to do with taking care of some of the farmers when they really needed help, but somebody had to do it. We were there, we did it, we were proud of it. Uh, a lot of people now can say they helped because they promoted farm aid in their community or they sent some money to farm aid. And I sign every check that goes out so I know where it's going 
And I feel like it's all going into a good place. We live in a very divided America. You hear about uh, urban versus rural, red versus blue, liberal versus conservative, but I think, uh, ladies and gentlemen, you'll back me up. There's one thing we can all agree on, and that is we love Willie Nelson. Well, thank you. As far as Roe versus Wade, uh, I'd rather Roe than Wade. <laughs> Well said. I wonder. <laughs> As perhaps the only unifying figure in this country, do you see any possibilities in bridging what seem to be intractable divisions in America? I believe in imagining what you want and then get out of the way. I think if you follow that, imagine get up every day and say, here's what I'd like to see happen today, and then get out of the way and let it happen. Mm. It's worked for me. <laughs> Those who don't live in rural areas, I think, have preconceptions about those who live in the country, in yeah. small towns. What do you think are the, the, the misconceptions are uh, about those who live in rural areas? Well, a lot of people don't realize where their food comes from. Uh, you know, when they have breakfast uh, this morning, did, uh, did your uh, food come from a farmer out here who raised his own? And is he feeding you? Are you getting it from the farm to market? Or did some trucker drive it in from 150 miles away? So these are things that you need to think about yeah. and how you can help the local communities, help the local farmer, because he's trying to make it. What's next for Willie Nelson? Well, we have a show in uh, where? <laughs> Illinois? Or, no, Ohio. On Ohio in a couple of days. And, we'll, uh, and then we'll go from there to there and see what happens. I'll take it one day at a time. <laughs> well, I want to tell you, Willie, not only uh, uh, to th thank you and congratulate you on your award, but you were on the road again. Yeah. for your birthday. Now you're back in Texas. Yeah. And I think we all want to just say happy birthday and many, many happy returns. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.